Hey, how are all you dudes doing today? I'm Mr. and my friend. Corey Redden, aka C4. Yeah. We're going to look back again to do another review. Who, who knew we would be back so soon with Mountain Dew? Because they have new flavors. Yeah, we got Infinite Swirl, which just, just came out here recently by 7 Eleven and Speedway. And then we have a Honeydew Melon Meow. Meow in Spanish is honey. And uh, let me tell you, honey, <laughs> this is all the way from Canada. Yeah, and this is something that came out, I believe, last year. Not sure how long. We don't. I don't know too much of the history on it, but it wasn't exclusive to Canada only. And I believe you can just pick it up anywhere, yeah. as far as I'm aware. Yeah, you can use it on eBay. Yeah, that's where we got ours. That's where we got these. So if you want to try this drink out, no doubt, get to your local www.ebay.com <laughs> and uh, check the internet and see if you can find me some. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to open this one up and uh, jump in the honeydew first. Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow, it's got like a. Mm. Some I've had the pleasure of trying this before we came, and I think it's a pretty good flavor. So, we're going to see his initial Dude. action here. Dude, it really does smell like a honey melon. It does have a smell like a hell of a melon. A hell of a melon. <laughs> hell of a melon. I've been doing too much dudes, dudes. I'm getting drunk off of that video. Pour you some, sir. And this kind of looks like Baja. That does almost look like Baja Blast. It's pretty close to Baja. Yeah. It's, you know, of course, it adds that kind of melon look to it, like the, the color, but, you know, just, you know, a slight shade of Baja. Baja is a little bit more, I think. It's like that. Um, it's a turtle color. Yeah, this one's, yeah. Turtle look. There's the different shades on I thought this was a pretty good flavor. Oh, wow. Of course, it doesn't, this is, now, when I bought this, this, this was uh, expired in, in November. It's now July. So we're about six months off. Yeah. Six, seven, eight months off. But it's it does caffeine kick in it. Yeah, cool. it's still, it's still it's pretty good. Kick. I don't think the carbonation was all the way there. Carbonation's not that strong, though. No, it's right. not that strong. But but honestly, it's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's good to see the little bubbles at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the carbonation. Yeah, it's not quite there. I like the flavor. Yeah, it's a flavor. Yeah, it's good. It, I mean, it, it, and we have cantaloupe. That is a good flavor to have for cantaloupe. We have the cantaloupe flavor. Yeah, I actually, I think this would be, this would do really good in the States. I don't know why they didn't bring it to the U.S. Yeah. Maybe people like melon over there in Canada. They, you know, they, the market, I don't know what the reason it was behind that. But, but uh, I think if they're gonna have a honeydew such as this, why not go with a candle to do a review for those people who are going to be a good review for the first time? Yeah. It'd be great work to have a review for those people who are going to be a good review for the first time. I'm more of a candle. I don't like honeydew too much. I mean, I'll have a review for the first time. It's not bad. You know, I can take it. I'll definitely take it. Candle. Anyway. What do you think though, once you're ready? Honestly. Honestly? I'm going to give it a time. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a time. I'm going to give it a time. I think even though it's kind of the fact that there's no... I mean, it's kind of like the industry. I can imagine it's going to be a six, seven bucks. Joe, Greg, and Paul. Yeah, like if we just go off the flavor one, I think it's solid. Alright, moving on, well, let's get to the next one. If you swirl, we're going to come out to our two other store. You know, we're going to send them a little bit of 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 a little on the window last week and they didn't have a drink in the store. Now, who does that? Why would you put a disco on the window and drink the idea? You need well, to thought. wait until you get the drink. You get the drink and you knock them with the damn refrigerator and then they do it. Then they do it. You know, we're always like, 
unique flavor. flavor yeah. Whereas the other ones all have like a similar component being berry. Spike it. Yeah. Because like, oh, okay, he's going that route. Wow. Spike them both. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, I'll show you. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good combination that way too. Just get the hint of the honeydew mix in within the pineapple uh, flavor that this one is uh, telling us. Berry and pineapple flavor. So uh, I mean that's a little nice for me because they're both on the same level. And I think it's all hell, you know. I'll just mix it and see what it tastes like. Doesn't really change the color, does it? No. I mean it almost looks more Baja now. Yeah. It's more Baja than yeah. Yeah, it looks more Baja than I, I really, I really wish you know I could get a get a tour of the Mountain Dew facility and how they like make all these flavors. Yeah. It would be a unique experience to see like how what are the formulas like when it goes into this. You know how are they, how are they craft these different flavors in the recipes? Because I'm sure they got a recipe book somewhere. They can make all the flavors we haven't had in a long, long time. I would love to go back. I never got to try the try the Sangria Blast in the can uh, back when it was out. I think I tried it at the Taco Bell for, at one point. I think it was pretty good. It was a good flavor. Didn't they have, what, what, was that the apple one? No, it looked like it's more of an apple one. Yeah. They had a green label. They had a few different flavors out there. Was the black label, green label, and white label. Yeah, those, I remember those. And the black, I never tried those. The black label Mountain Dew. With the sangria blast. They essentially just took what you had as a Mountain Dew sangria blast and put that drink into that can and then it and then it and then the black label. But that's exactly what that drink was. I remember how that tastes, how, how that drink felt to me and what it tastes like. Yeah. So I knew that that's what they did, especially when I poured it in the glass and I knew that it was like a, a maroon color. I was like, this is sangria blast. Like and now you don't find them anymore. I don't see them. Like white label. Label. Or white label. White label is like a citrus flavor. Pink fries? I don't think you make fries. I think fries. What I've seen there. I think it's all the balls. I don't think it's all the And then the green label. The green label was a kiwi apple. I don't see any of those. It just probably didn't. They were fine for the time. I don't really see him. And I haven't I seen him.